it came upon a midnight clear that glorious song of old from angels bending near the earth to touch the hearts of gold peace on the earth good will to men from hands of gracious king Welcome to our virtual Christmas Eve communion service. Typically, if we meet in our worship room, we start with the Christmas collect for this evening. So will you join me in prayer now? Almighty God, you make us glad with the yearly remembrance of the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that as we joyfully receive him as our Redeemer, so may we with sure confidence behold him when he shall come to be our judge, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And let's listen to those words from Luke's Gospel about the events that we commemorate tonight. Luke chapter 2. In those days a decree went out from the Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went to the town of Bethlehem from Nazareth because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver the child and lay him in a manger wrapped in a band of cloth, because there was no place for them 
in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone round them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find the child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth among those whom he favours. Thanks be to God for this gospel word to us. Peace this night, silent night, our musicians lead us as we sing that carol together.
let us all pray. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Our God, on this holy night, your Son, our Saviour, was born in human flesh. Renew your church as the body of Christ. Our God, on this holy night, there was no room for your Son in the inn. Protect with your love those who have no home and all who live in poverty. Our God, on this holy night, Mary in the pain of labour brought your son to birth. Hold now in your hands all who are in pain or distress. Our God, on this holy night, Christ came as a light shining in the darkness. Bring comfort to all who suffer in the sadness of your world. Our God, on this holy night, the angels sang peace to God's people on earth. Strengthen those who work for peace and justice in every part of your world. Our God, on this holy night, shepherds in the field heard good tidings of joy. Give us grace to preach the gospel of Christ's redemption. Our God, on this holy night, strangers found that special family and saw the baby lying in the manger. Bless our homes and all whom we love. Our God, on this holy night, heaven comes down to earth and earth is raised to heaven. Hold in your hands all those who've passed through death in the hope of your coming kingdom. Our God, this holy night, angels and archangels worshipped in the manger throne. Receive our worship through him who is your word made flesh, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And so in our own homes now, we set the bread and the wine before us. And we give thanks to our God for the birth of our Saviour. Let us all pray. Our God, on this holy night, we thank you for the birth at Bethlehem. We remember that Mary and Joseph and the infant Jesus had to escape persecution and flee. We thank you that he called ordinary people like us to be his followers and that the journey from Bethlehem through Nazareth and Galilee led inevitably to Jerusalem where he was falsely arrested, tried, condemned and crucified. But we know that on the third day you raised him from the dead. And so we give you thanks. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon us. And as we, though divided, eat the bread and wine, we become united, the true fellowship of your people with you. Blessing and honour and glory and power are yours, now and forever. The bread which we break is it not a sharing in the body of Christ? Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in the one bread. The cup which we drink represents for us the blood of Christ. May we drink it believing in the power of resurrection and the glories of your kingdom. Our God, thanks to you for all your gracious gifts to us. And we celebrate together the birth of the Christ child. 
we light the Christmas candle. In a moment or two we shall sing the carol, O come, all ye faithful. Have a great Christmas, when the song of the angels is stilled, when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and the princes are home, when the shepherds are back with their flocks, the true work of Christmas begins, to find the lost, to heal the broken, to feed the hungry, to release the prisoners to rebuild the nations, to bring peace among the people, to make music in our hearts. God bless you all. Have a lovely Christmas. Amen. Slavers are brothers